Welcome back guys, are you ready for it? The final furlong, the last part of the game, final relay, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, they're going into the last bit of the DLC now. The Teeth of Narrows, you come into quests and um, main quest that's one, Teeth of Narrows, so you can follow that. And um, I'm going to try and do a few things along the way here and I'm hoping to break this down into three parts. So hopefully only three parts left of the guide. So yeah, I'm going to do a few random persuasion checks along, along the way. Um, but we're also going to keep keep warping here in order to get a shrine to increase our XP. Because the last thing we're going to need to do is get to level 36. And we're going to be just shy of it, I think. So, first of all, guys, we're in Ratha. We're going to warp to Aiton. I'm going to buy some more experience boosters. Yeah, you want to try and get as much XP now as you can going forward. So, any XP gear. Um, obviously not the armor we made or the weapons, but accessories or necklace, lob it on, lob it on. I've got that one that gives you an extra 6%. Um, inventory, uh, where is it? Accessories, there we go. No, nothing there uh, yet here. So, Noble's Band of Growth. Yes, I'm going to equip that. There we go. Yeah, so Noble's Band of Growth, I'm going to lob that on. And come over here and go and speak to Aiton. We're going to buy some experience boosters. Yeah, so all, always try to keep the uh, buffs active from the shrines. If you're higher level, you probably don't need to worry about it too much. Uh, it looks like it's up the stairs. There he is. Getting warm in front of the fireplace. Right, no, wrong woman. Don't want to talk to you. Right. And um, there we go. Greater experience booster. Buy the whole lot. We'll probably pop back here a few times. Yeah, we'll be back, mates. Buy some more. So um, hold the stock for us. Yeah, we'll come back there a few times because what we're going to do, we're going to try and use our Reckoning Mode as much as we can. And each time you use Reckoning Mode, you're going to uh, use a potion. And try and make sure the shrine is active as well. And after that, we're going to warp over here. So what we're going to do here now, we're going to get some persuasion checks. And throughout these next few parts, we're going to get about, I'm going to get about seven extra checks. Seven extra checks, I think it will be. So about 57 altogether. And we want to go and talk to this guy now, Squire Bryo. The Squire Bro. I'm going to go and talk to him. He'll give you these persuasion checks, uh, quests we're going to do. They're very simple ones. So just basically run somebody, talk to them. There's no enemy. There's no dungeon crawling. So come and talk to Square Bro. What do I need to do? I'll help you, mate. Don't worry. I can persuade him. My level of persuasion is very, very high. So you can follow that if you want. Uh, but basically, you come in this room where I'm going into. You can see the little markers on the map. Yeah, follow it if you want. Obviously, the yellow one will take you straight there then. Yeah, I'm a very skilled um, at persuading people. So come over here, talk to um, Grand Femage Goronet. And there you go. How do you really feel? Obviously, make sure you save it before you do this. Yeah, forgot to do that. You don't get much XP, so I won't be handing this quest in. I'm just doing it for persuasion check. So we're going to get three here. And there's four people you need to talk to, but the first three will always be a persuasion check. And um, I don't even bother with the fourth one just because you don't get nothing from him. So, going to head over to the next one yet. Remember, if you want to know exactly where they are a bit better, just follow the quest um, in the um, in the quest line. I think I took the long way there. Yeah, come and talk to Viscount Set of the Ulcer. And um, he'll give you another check. Obviously, make sure you save it beforehand. Thanks for talking, mate. That's all I wanted to know. Right, we're going to go get one more. And while we are over here, we're actually going to get... We're going to get a ring as well. Gives you like an extra 2% XP. It's not a great deal, but it all helps. So, yeah, just over here. If I follow it, I'll follow it, actually. Yeah, so... um, Oh, the Indignitaries. Yeah, you can see one wants us to go up to the top as well. But I'm trying to go to the closest three. And this one here is great because, like I say, we're going to buy a ring in here as well. If you're quite high level, you don't need to worry too much about getting the shrine all the time. 
you need to get to level 36 for a trophy that's why it's very important we try to maximize that xp because we're going to be just shy of that uh, so just going to head over here talk to warlord the house of ballads must and again another persuasion check obviously make sure you save it beforehand position. if i had a fail then I'd, I'd probably just left it actually so we're going to get seven extra so i'd probably just left it um talk to the merchant here Riona helped and i'm gonna buy no shit wrong i did not want to buy that. the ring of expansion because that gives you an extra two percent experience so i'm gonna buy that and um i just want to sell that thing which i didn't mean to buy staff of flame sell it back there we go yeah i'm gonna equip that so an extra two percent xp ring of expansion there we go so yeah an extra eight percent together with them both combined right so that's three persuasion checks we just got and um, we'll go and get the shrines now and uh crack on with the main quest teeth of narrows in order to get these in three parts i'm gonna have to this first part may be a little bit long yeah so i'm just warping back to wiser just to get back over to the shrines a little bit quicker it probably saves like 20 seconds probably no probably only 10 but yeah I'll be coming back here quite a lot to get all the shrines but while we're doing so each time we do it we're gonna go to another area and get another three persuasion checks because there's sort of three there's three easy quests on the mainland um, which have three persuasion checks connected to them uh, so we'll be doing them along the way. So Helix Camp. Come and have a chat with him. I'm Helix. Here we go. Do you know much about Teeth? I do it, mate. West Southern Passage to the south, I guess. Here we go. Southern Passage. It'll be three. It'll be three or four parts. Maybe I'll break this down into four parts, guys. Just so um. That's, if I don't, one of them is going to be fairly long. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll break it down into four. Why not? Yeah, so following him now. Um, I try to point out good places to use your Reckoner mode. But this cave, there's not really many good places in here. And there'll be another enemy type here, which you have to kill 50. So make sure when I point these out to you, you make sure you kill them in two hits. So make sure you got your point of flame ready. Now here, you need to wait for him to inspect it. This guy, what's his name? I don't know. The inspector. Just wait for him to stand up. And a cutscene will start. There we go. Oh, his name was Crab. Talk to Helic again afterwards. What was that? Corpse. Right. Let's crack on. Yeah, they're like bird type enemies. Terex or something they're called. I'm assuming it's got a silent P. Wait a moment. Wait a moment. What was that? It's, yeah, it's a Terex. Don't worry, I need to kill 50, so I'll be killing them. Yeah, you need to kill 50 of these, and remember, they need to die in two hits. One hit will not kill. Here they are. Disgusting little cretins. So there's one. Another one over here. That'd be two. If you kill all the ones you pass during this sort of story... Okay. Yeah, sometimes they'll just die. So, um, but, um... The they're really, they're a lot easier than the Scavs. Because he's actually spawning in the outworld as well. Right, I've got them all that time. Right, will you be okay mate? No, there's no, absolutely no way I can help you. I have nothing, nothing to give. Uh, so I'm going to follow that. Just so I'll go the right direction. Yep, so keep heading south. Yeah, teeth of narrows. Yeah, you don't... Is it taking me the right way? Hold on. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I ran back the wrong way. Here we go. Yeah, press a button to open the door. Yeah, this but you don't... That's not really a good, a good spot to use your wrecking mode. So I'll be waiting until we get outside the cave. So that's a good spot just outside. Uh, a few minutes outside. Again, just try and kill all the enemies you pass along the way. Yeah, the, the Terex. Sorry, I didn't quite finish explaining it. You have to kill 50, but just going through the story, you kill about 44, I think it is. 44. 
Um, but like I say, they spawn in the outworlds, the overworlds. So um, they're not, they don't only spawn in dungeons, they spawn outside. And there's actually a warp point, like it, which is like a nest. And you can just warp there after a few days. And they spawn, you spawn about nine in that sort of immediate area. And from here, you can actually warp to Galette. So you can advance time really quick. You don't have to worry about going to the dock. So interact with this and uh, choose dialogue option. You'll get that twist of fate plus 10% damage while in Reckoning Mode. Thank you. Another card to the collection. We'll soon have a full deck soon. Right, exit the Southern Passage. And yeah, the exit is to the south. Right, so just outside here, there's going to be two persuasion checks. Yeah, we're going to get seven persuasion checks extra, so we're probably... I'm just thinking we're going to pop it. We'll probably pop it at the end of the story, actually, because there's one persuasion check near the end. Oh, no, one should get into idea there. All right, so you jump off here, and you'll, you'll find Sikandra's camp, right of passage, main quest has become active now. Save your game. Actually, I wanna, don't want to overwrite that. Yep, save your game, guys. Because there'll be a persuasion check in a minute. Two, in fact, if you don't want to miss. So, talk to her. Options don't really matter. Kill the trolls that appear. There we go. And try to save your game quickly if you can, once you kill them. Because now she's going to rush over and get persuasion checks. Here we go, there'll be two. I must seek the Primus. There we go, a recluse. Yes. Yes, succeeded, and you have one more. Never listen to him. There we go, succeeded. Master Persuader. How do I stop the Jorton? And after that, guys, we're just going to head to the northeast now. Uh, sorry, northwest. That objective marker. There's the trophies in this. They're not like the other DLC where um, you had to pick up a lot of collectibles which weren't marked. This one is more about doing the main story and uh, just doing a few mystic things along the way which are missable. Yeah, there are a few missable things, so um, but I'll try and point them out to you. So hopefully, won't be a big problem. Uh, so we're gonna come over here, and there'll be a camp just up here, and just before our, the shrines run out, so hopefully your shrines have not run out yet. We're just gonna come up here first, find Remy's camp, then we're gonna have a chat with him, see what's occurring. A sign of the time to kill them. Not much. Primal magic. And it'll give you the primal bow. There we go. That thing's primal. Right, after this, jump off. Now, don't head in the cave just yet. I'm going to use reckoning mode here. I'm going to go full on reckoning. Time of reckoning is upon us. There we go. And then I'm going to spam a... Not spam, I'm just going to use a great experience booster. Right. Let's do this quickly before the shrines run out. Right, a few more here. Oh yeah, the wolves don't really count, unfortunately, for Reckoning Mode. And there'll be a few more around the corner here. Looks like our shrine's going to run out. There we go, got it. How much did I get? Ah, about 7k. I'm not sure if the shrine went out or not. Come over here afterwards to find this location, Kurung's Tower. But before we head inside, I'm going to walk back to Wiser now, guys, and um, get the shrines back. But before we do so, we're going to walk to Emir. Yes, yeah, so I walk to Emir, and we're going to get some more persuasion checks. Yes, yeah, so as a quick quest here, it gives you three checks. Very quick quest. Watch yourself. Yeah, what you watch yourself, mate. Fucking cheeky bastard. Yeah, come down here and uh, where is he? Oh, there he is. He's asleep. Oi, wake up. Hey, what? Right, Thor attacked you. I help you. Yes. Where can I find them? Yeah, he'll give you a quest. They walk among us. I'm gonna pursue it. Make them easy to find. There you go. So they walk among us. You get that quest from him. Now this NPC, he'll either be in the in the tavern or he may be wandering about. It depends what time of day it is. At the moment, he's in the tavern, so I'm just going to head inside. I might grab a beverage while I'm in here. 
Yes. So you're gonna save your game first. Looks like he's about to leave. So save your game and talk to him here. Oh no, I interact with the door, not the NPC. So I've got to head back inside now. Wow, well that's long loading screen. Yeah, basically want to talk to him, but he's, he's standing close next, close to the door. Right, Hello. there he is. Hello. Hello, Amrit. I'm fast. Yeah, talk to him. Oh, is that him? Is that his face? Oh, his eyebrow. Yep, you get a persuasion check. There we go. Admit you are a spy or die. Yeah, succeeded again. I'm good at this. Right, after doing that, guys, exit. And there'll be two more areas now we have to warp to and talk to a NPC. Get another persuasion check from each of them, and then we'll go to Wise to get the shrines, and then get back onto the DLC. Right, so you've got this place over here, refugee camp, Whoopi. Should have all these locations discovered. From way, way, way early in the guide. Yeah, talk to me, Nag. There we go, talk to Nag. He's warming his hands up. The fire's not lit, mate. You're not going to get much warmth from that. Tell me. What's going on with his facial hair? What the? You're spying on friends. Oh, Wink can a smile. Got it already, guys. So that's 50 persuasion checks. Uh, Wink can a smile. There we go. So that's one. So I'm going to be getting a lot, lot more. So I'm going to warp to new Kun now. And we're going to get another persuasion check now. So hopefully you pop that trophy when I did. Hopefully. But um, don't worry. We're probably going to get about 10 more, actually. Uh, so over here. And talk to... Fromer, there we go, and uh, tell her about whatever, and uh, say you spied on your people. There we go. No excuses. Right, once you've done that, um, we'll go back to following teeth. Uh, sorry, rites of passage, and we're gonna get the shrines and get back on back on track. Yeah. So if you've popped the trophy, you're probably not gonna want me to show you any more persuasion checks. But I need to show more just for anybody that may, for whatever reason, missed, missed some or they failed and uh, didn't want to reload a save because they forgot to make one beforehand and they didn't want to go back too much. Or maybe some bugged out because there's no way we can say for certain that one or two persuasion checks wouldn't, you know, there's no way you can say every single one is going to work properly. You just don't know that. And uh, so once you've got all the shrines, guys, going to warp to Karonk's Tower. So, go forward, that's actually um, 667. We've got 10 more persuasion checks to get yet. Wow, that's quite a lot. And we're going to come into here now, guys, Karunk's Tower. So, there's a missable trophy in here, but I'll point it out when we get to it and make sure you make it safe. Yeah, highly, highly missable. If you, mi if you fail this trophy, it would mean you'd either have to load an earlier save if you have one. Or you'd have to start a new, well, load your tutorial safe, I guess, and make your way all the, all the way back here and try and do it right from the start of the game. Wow. Did not want to hit that wolf. Must have been going through one here, coming out the other. So I must have fired about six, didn't do much damage. Right, got these two little hungry fellas. A wink and a smile. Got that, I got that much earlier than my um, practice account. Right, get these wolves. I'm probably going to go a bit overkill with the persuasion checks, actually, with how many extra I get. But um, it, it don't take long. Ideally, I probably should have... These persuasion checks I've been doing um, out in the mainland, I should have been doing doing them early in the... You know, early in the game when we're actually in them areas. Um, but I've only really been looking into them. I want to see how, how many we could get. Um, just from going through the story, and I guess we could have. I guess I could have popped the trophy without doing any extra. Just, just. Uh, come up here next, guys. So once you get out of here, do not go forward. We need to make our save here. Very, very, very important. Save your game. Don't be shy. There we go. Save game. Blue Bear Tavern. Save your game here. Now we need... To this guy is going to rush you, that big guy in the middle. You need to kill him before you kill the guys on the side. So let's power your bow. 
That's it. Quickly kill him before the other two start attacking. Wait, 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 wait. And you'll get that trophy. Uh, but I meant to use... I'm not sure if it's going to work now. Yeah, you'll get that trophy for killing him. And yeah, you have to kill him before you kill these two attendants. That's it. If you want to loot his body, he's sometimes... Wow. Oh, wow. Loads of purple things. Anything that gives extra XP? No, but I take him and I myself quite a bit. Right, so after that, guy's going to warp to Remy's camp. Yeah, so if you mess that up, just load that safe game you made just beforehand. You need to kill Karunk before you kill any of his attendants, pretty much. What is this? Looks so like an ant, a red ant, mate. Well, I talked to Sikandra down here. Karunk is dead. Now I will take the what is the henge? Tell me. Well. Right, so after that, we're going to head to Idilia. Right, 22 minutes. I'm going to, yeah, kill the enemies along the way. So I'm going to kill these punks. She'll just go, she'll go straight there now. She will to Idilia. Yeah, she don't mess about. She don't wait for you. There we go. I'm just killing all the enemies on the way there to get a bit more XP. Right, and what, she'll make her way up there, but we're just going to go right and get a, warp, get a new warp point. I'm not going to bother going um, going back to get the more sh get more shrines. Um, getting them now is probably only going to get you an extra couple of thousand XP, so I'm not going to bother. Once you've discovered Earth Shrine, head back to your objective marker now, and we're going to go to Idilia. We're going to get a Trapper Trophy up here as well, and there's a few Misc Trophies. So come over here, you'll get a little cutscene. And then interact with the whatever it is to warp to the Henge. You'll get that trophy beam me up. That's a story trophy for the DLC, Teeth of Narrows. Right, 5842. There's a few things to do here, but we there's some two side trophies we can do here which get you persuasion checks and another one related to trapper but we'll do them a bit later we'll do them a bit later and one of them you can't do now anyway you have to wait till you get to the end of the, of the mdlc so talk to Scan uh, sikandra advance a dialogue and you'll get a new quest shaping in iniquity by the way there'll be a image uh, a map for this in the description like always guys if you need it right so this big pit in the middle save your game and um, what we're going to do next just jump for it there you go you'll get a trophy regret nothing no regrets just do it guys no regrets we can do it I do not regret doing that at all never I have every, all my regrets in my life that's definitely not one of them. Uh, but after getting that missed trophy, yeah, pretty weird trophy just for jumping down a pit. Yeah, follow Sikandra. And uh, go through a blue dialogue and then come through his door once it opens. Thank you, friendly giants. Right, come speak to the Primos. Here we go. Such words the city is incomplete how so what do I need to do where is the circlet yeah leave it with me right so we're going to go and get the circlet and this actually leads to a misc trophy as well so back to idea the concourse basically just following the objective marker need I say any more you return yeah I did very well how did you know right go through a blue dialogue and then come into the sewer yeah, underneath this round hatch. Right, in the sewer, just continue heading south now. Yeah, it's making way to the next area. Uh, we're in the idealist sewers now, so you can come down this ladder. 
Just make sure you don't spam X, otherwise you'll go back up it without knowing. And then I jump off here. You can jump all the way down, but it's quicker to go down the ladder to begin with and then jump down on the last the last platform. Uh use new reckoning mode through here. Hopefully I'm trying to think about it. there's not really that many good spots here to use it. Um so you're gonna come down here. Yeah, I'm just trying to think where the best spot is coming through here. There's a spot near the end that's got quite a lot of tough enemies. Um, come down this ladder. So it's going to be some Terex down here. So remember, you need to kill these in two hits. Two hits or more. There we go. So that's another three to the uh, 50 we need to kill. Come in here and this should take us into the Idelia under sewers. We'll get a persuasion check up here as well. Wow, I can't believe I remember. Normally I forget about this one. Yes, yeah, so this is another persuasion check. There are worse things than marauders in these lower tunnels. Worse things than marauders. These walls for decades. Right, so she's going to save a save that game before we interact with that sort of sarcophagus thing at the top. There we go. Save the game. Come over here and loot the sarcophagus. Take the circlet and then she'll stop you for a chat. Why are you so angry? And then choose. Tell me. Oh, I failed. Let so I'm not going to go through with that. Um, what now? Well. Yeah. So obviously, if you fail that, just load the game back up and um, try it again to succeed. And afterwards, don't follow her. We need to head along here because this is going to lead to a misc trophy. Yeah. If I if I fail the persuasion chat, I'm not going to I'm not going to bother loading. I have a trophy. What's the point? Right, so I'm just trying to think where to, where should I use my, um, I think I remember after these, there's not too many. Yeah, you got this ladder. Oh yeah, it's quite a long bit now until we get some more enemies. Yeah, so all that ladder up here, go left. You get a missed trophy just from speaking to this, um, uh, the strange man. No, that's literally his name, strange man. I don't know why. Uh, but do not jump off there, otherwise you've got to go all the way around to get back up again. But it's a hidden chamber here. Obviously you should have high enough hidden detect. Because we've got max every skill. There'll be some more Terex up here. So you do actually kill a few Terex along the way as well. Uh, so we do make it more worthwhile than just a trophy. So get the giant rats here. Giant rats, by the way, if you use faint mode on them, they just die outright. Uh, same with the wolves. So, two more Terex. So, we want to make sure we kill them in two hits again. There we go. Once you've killed them, I'm going to jump down here into this, um, I guess, in, into this gap in the roof. And you're going to talk to this strange man up here, and you'll get a missed trophy. There you go. Mistaken identity. My mistake. Didn't realise. Don't worry, I'll be on my way. Yeah, just talking to him gets you trophy, guys. Now, come left here, be three more Terex around the corner. We get these. I think I can actually remember most of this off my head. Right, yeah, kill them three. Right, I'm going to use that re uh, reckoning mode in a minute. You want to try and, um, when you do kill enemies, reckoning mode as well, try to loot their corpses. I'm going to use it now, actually. Uh, oh, they just died. What the hell? That's a waste of time. Yeah, when you do use Reckoning Mode, try to loot the enemies afterwards. If you can. There you go. Right, there's a few more down here if I'm quick. Right, quickly use that uh, consumable. There we go, and we do it. Hopefully that'll give me quite a bit of XP. I think this is probably the best spot down here, if I'm honest, to use Reckoning Mode in the sewers. The, the path we're going, anyway. Uh, right, any essence? Nope. No, and... Uh, oh, we've got a few there. Right, that's it. Let's head back out. 
in a minute we'll be dropping back down where we've got that um our clit and clit and just before we end this video guys just going to get the trapper trophy and i'll probably just do a few more persuasion checks um in the out the last three persuasion checks i want to do in the mainland and we'll get the shrines ready to move on with the next bit Right, yeah, jump down here. And here we are, guys, back on track, so you can come out here now. That's actually a really good spot for using a uh, faint meter soon. Reckon the mode. So I'm probably going to use a potion, actually. Uh, yeah, I might use a potion there. Because you'll get probably over 10k if you... Um, yeah, probably get over 10k with it. Right, so once you're up that ladder, I'm going to come over here. That'll be on the next video, though, not now. Yeah, come east. Obviously, going to the yellow mark now. Make sure you still got that main quest active. Uh, shaping, is it shaping in iniquity? So there's some spiders here. Get rid of these. There we go, one more there. Right, up this ladder. Right, so when, when we do this trapper trophy, um, it's quite a long way to get to it. Uh, what, but once you get here, guys, save your game. Um, but And do not save over this because we'll be loading it back up shortly. So there we go, living quarters. And before you head on with the um, uh, story, you want to talk to Pagus, this guy here. He'll be wandering around somewhere. But yeah, Pagus. And plague, what plague? I'll try, what do I do? What do I need to do? Yes, he'll give you this um, this quest, my own invention. So follow that. And I'm going to head back down into sewer. Yeah, so basically talk to Pagus in the living quarters. And he'll give you that quest um, to my own invention, I think it was called. And uh, you want to follow that, pursue it. And then come back down to the sewer. Come over to this little warp stone. And you know, travel to the north. Yeah, so just travel to the north. Remember, make sure you save your game just before you take the quest from Pagus. It's just to it's just to save a minute. You don't have to, but the way I do it, yeah, it's just to save a minute going back. Yeah, now come through here, and this will take us to where it is. Now, what will happen now is um, you have to kill these rats using traps, and uh, there's a trophy for killing 25 enemies with traps and here though there should be 30 enemies sometimes they don't all spawn I've had I think it's when sometimes one might get caught in the wall and it messes it all up if it happens just reload the save game because we're going to be saving the game now but do not save over that save we just made so make a new one and just remember that one living quarters so make a completely new save right so we've got to try and kill these enemies now so these levers are timed you can't just pull one and then wait for the rats You'll pull one and then the trap will be sort of active for a few seconds and it'll go back in. And you normally have to wait a second or two before you can pull the lever again. So you sort of have to get used to the timing. But we've got a safe game there so you can just retry if you mess, mess it up. You've got to kill 25 guys and there should be about 30. You can see them come in here. This is me facing down here. And these are the traps. So go for that one first. And then that last one, right? The middle one is quite delayed, but the two the two traps on the end do sort of sort of instantly. But as you can see, there's a, a slight delay in between um, when you use it and you can use it again. But sometimes if you're quick, you can just get it again before another set of bat rats come. But it does depend how close they are together. Like here, I don't think I'm going to get to use it in time. Oh, I did, and I've not been counting either because I've been talking to you. Right, it should be on about 20 now. Because normally when this massive horde comes, you're normally on about 20. Oh, we've got it. Trapper, there we go. And that's all we wanted, guys. A trapper trophy. So, yeah, 30. Yeah, so you'll get our trophy, guys. Trapper. That is the one we wanted to do. Killing 25 enemies um, with traps. Uh, yeah, just ignore that comment for a minute. I'll reply to you in a minute, mate. Just um, yeah. So if I go new, 
Um, yeah, killed 25 enemies with traps. So that's one we should have got then. If you didn't get it, just reload that game we made, guys, and um, just try again. This one we just made before we started the trap. Um, but I'm going to load this one back now. Living Quarters, the one we made just before we took a quest from Pagus. And we're just going to advance the story for about probably another few minutes, and then we'll call it a day there, guys. Um, so I'm just going to come out here. We have to re return to Anakatos. Oh yeah, and uh, I said I was going to do them last three persuasion checks in the mainland. Because once you've done them, everything else is just in the DLC. We don't have to worry about doing anything else outside of it. Except for getting the shrines and um, grinding a little bit of experience if you don't quite hit level 36 by the end. So um, yeah, up here now and talk to Anakatos, the Primos, whoever it was. The Laros there we go. To prove to the, the, the and yeah, advance the blue dialogue. And uh, sh should advance that quest. I actually need to follow it, don't I? Oh, I am. Right, we're going to come outside. And basically what we need to do now, we've got to go to the east side of the DLC map. Um, but before we do that, I'm just going to go to Odessa. This is one more place with a very, very easy side quest. Which gives you three persuasion checks. So if you do not get the um, a wink and a smile trophy after doing these three, then you've missed a lot. You've missed a lot of persuasion checks. But don't worry, there's still we've still got six more to get, but they're actually in the DLC. Yeah, still got six more to get, but they're in the DLC. But I'm going to get another easy three now. See, like this one, I should have done this much earlier in the guide. And um, when we're actually coming here. We need to come into the, um, where is it? Hospitalis Quartus. Yeah, you have to come into here. Yeah, such an easy quest, this one. Should have done this sooner. The thing is, we've got max persuasion now, so they are um, easy to do. Yeah, come over to the notice board. Anyone take this one, redistributing wealth, the top one. Take that one, yes, take it. And that will be the tithes that bind. So you can pursue that quest. Yeah, the types that bind, and I've just hit level 34. Was that just from taking the quest from the board? Well, I didn't know that. Probably should take more quests from boards. And uh, you come down here, you can see the markers on the map where they all are. So these are very easy persuasion checks. Just chat with them, obviously save beforehand if you want to in case you fail. You should say your profits, what if you were poor? There you go, I succeeded on that one. You've got another one over here with a persuasion check. Um, Sorry, Kemble. You should share your wealth, definitely. You can't be so selfish, share it, that's it. It's good to share. Share it with me first though, of course. And then there's one more inside here. Yeah, one more empathy inside here with a persuasion check. Yep, uh, Driador Selly, you should say your profits. We can improve lives. There you go, third persuasion check. So, very easy quest with three checks each. And uh, we won't be doing any more. Like I said, there's six more persuasion checks in the DLC area, and that'll be it. So, you've not popped the trophy yet. Hopefully, you're going to pop it on one of them six. And all we're going to do now is going to warp over to Aiton. I'm going to get some more experience booster. Then, we're going to get a shrines, and then we'll call it a day for this part, guys. This has, is, this has actually been longer than what I thought it would be. Damn. <laughs> yeah, I, I was thinking I'd cut this down, but I've ended up just going back to my original plan. Just making this part a little bit longer. Right, so in here, yeah, going to talk to me. He should have restocked by now. Um, it takes him a day or two to restock the potions. Yeah, there we go. Greater experience booster. Very well. And with all the warping around... He should have, you know, with all the warping around, enough time should have passed. And over to Y, so get a shrines, and then we're just going to stay in the DLC and just warp away when we need to get some. Uh... Right, where are we? Yeah, warp away when we need to um... get some shrines and buffs. Well, I'm just going to check if I've got fate potions, because like I said. 
coming up in the DLC area, there's going to be quite a good spot for him using Reckoning Mode. So I just want to see if I've got any fate potions. Inventory, consumables. Oh, I've got six. I've got six. Nice. How many uh, essence do I have? 14. Oh, that's cool. You do want to try and save all your essence and the fate potions ready for the end in case you do need to grind. But if that's a really good spot in the DLC to use a fate potion, I may use one anyway. But don't just use them unless I unless I advise. Because basically, if you save inflator, you'll be getting seven. You'll be getting about seven k a pop, seven to eight k a pop. So um, if you're gonna get less than that, you don't really want to use them. Uh, where am I going? Yeah, what time is it? Uh, seven fifty-two. Ah, so I best um, I'm gonna warp a few times, get to um six a.m. So it's gonna get to the Earth Shrine warp point, guys, and then we'll call it a day. Literally. The day would have passed, it'll be morning again. So it is 12.38 a.m. So I'm going to warp to Southern Passage and then over to the Earth Shrine. And uh, that should be it then. What time? Yeah, 3.53. So over to the Earth Shrine. Yeah, warp over there. We'll be entering the Earth Shrine later. You have to enter almost every... Well, there's... You, there is one area, a narrow Telos sewer. You don't actually enter that area. But out of that, other than that, I think you have to access most of the areas in this DLC. Um, so quest, I want to make sure we're following that. Shaping in iniquity. And yeah, that's it guys. So that's where we need to go once we resume control in the next part. I'm going to save the game. There we go. Yes, right guys. So I'll leave it there for that part guys. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you on the next video.